What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Nana Manga, this time with volume 20, chapter 76. Uh, again, not long left now, less than 10 chapters, which, um, yeah, not great. But uh, we'll do a little recap as we usually do do. Uh, we did have a pretty interesting segment with Yasu and, uh, I forget this girl's name to be honest with you. But the, uh, the girl from the childhood. And I'm still not really sure, again, I, I, I record these a couple weeks in advance, so I haven't had any comments yet. Um, so apologies if you have spoke about this, but I still don't really fully get the whole this whole scene with those two to be honest with you Stealing her cigarette and then giving her his And I'm not 100% sure what to make of that. Uh, we had a bit of an argument between Takumi well, a bit of an argument is a little bit of an understatement, but um, <laughs> yeah, a bit of an argument between Takumi and uh, and Reira and then Reira ended up having to look after Ren who Went back to the um, the drugs, unfortunately. We did see. Uh, if, if I'm on, yeah, I'm on the right chapter here. And um, some harsh truths from both sides, but I, I, I feel like I started attacking me with this, which I'm not, not sure I think I'd ever say. <laughs> but he made some really good points. Like, yeah, she, but we, all, we all agreed to this, and she still doesn't like it. Like, whose fault is that? Somehow still Takumi's. Don't get me wrong, it's both their faults for indulging, but um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, we had uh, Ren, unfortunately, break down a little bit here. Really like this conversation with them both at the, the door like this. Ren saying he just wants to see, uh, see Nana again. Also, I think Ren might be quitting Trap Nest. There's quite a lot going on right now, isn't there? A lot of moving parts. There has been since I. Well, there's always there always is during the series, but like, yeah, we haven't slowed down in that regard whatsoever. Anything with baby paced up, just the amount of stuff going on in these guys' lives and so on. But um, yeah, we'll get into today's chapter. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys would like, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. Now, I click off these ads and every... I guess I hit the wrong button there. Uh, every time I do it, it does this and it scrolls down a page. It's really annoying. I wanted to erase the bad aftertaste of my dreams and think back to the days since I reunited with Ren. Music's a bit loud. Sorry, guys. Can't hear myself think. <laughs> I wanted to erase the bad aftertaste of my dreams and think back to the days since I reunited with Ren, the sweet lovingness that we'd built up and the bitter emptiness as if we were forced back to square one. Welled up inside me at the time, at the same time, and I wanted to cry even more. That is a, it's an interesting way of looking at it, isn't it? They've actually... I have kind of gone back to square one in a sense, just in a different place. Uh, again, I can't remember the name of where they lived before, but they're almost in like, obviously it's a lot more extravagant and they're, I wouldn't say that rich now, but they're well off now and popular singers. So you ba they're basically just the same, but in a different scenario. One of those things like do people ever really change i believe people can and do change but i do believe once you're maybe not at a certain age but there's certain things as an adult that i won't i won't change on i feel like i'm pretty i'm a pretty good person in terms of i see the fact that we're all different people and we change daily a lot of our opinions such change daily on things and i'm, I'm quite open to to mindset changes and such like i won't outright deny most things but there are some things i am absolutely kind of set on that will never change in my mind um to be, which is quite ironic because i'm a person that doesn't like updating things like my my um like apps and stuff like that. i really don't like updating things so <laughs> it's quite ironic i say all that considering how like how bad i am and stuff like that i just hate it when you like update something and it completely changes and it's just like change for the worse or just having to like relearn it. It's like I went for all that effort. And it was good before. Now you fucked it. Um, in terms of like opinions and stuff, I'm very open. I think. 
and I like uh, I'm a person that quite likes to if I if I have one opinion I, I quite like also like playing devil's advocate and like art like seeing from trying to see from the other point of view as well I don't know let's little cover of a wren here what is uh Well, that is, looks like the Smash logo. I don't want to come up with the same answer I did three years ago. You know, Shita? Don't you have to answer your phone? It's probably the agency. We can ignore it. They'll can your ass big time. Not that I care. So I take, I'm pretty good because I don't read too much in my own time, but it does take uh, that. I've really felt that then, uh, for some reason, reading from right to left, <laughs> it, was, uh, it took me back a bit. I don't care. Uh, again, this is like my auto, to be honest. Only time I ever really kind of read things is uh, like manga. I don't care. Honestly, I'm so over the label and Takami and how they've dealt with this. I'm not doing what they say anymore. The president is out of line. Mr. Takada should just change your schedule at Takami's every whim. Shouldn't just change your schedule at Takami's every whim. They know you need drugs to keep working. But what you need is a break right now. What I want to say. I'll tell you then. You don't get it. So stupid. Yes, I do. If you just suddenly check out... The media will be all over it, and if things go wrong, you'll get arrested. I know Takami's walking the line trying to deal with this. It's not like he's doing it for you, it's for the band. You blabbermouth. Listen to me. Shouldn't you be pissed off and blame me, instead of Takami and the label? Again, I don't think you can really blame people for really tough it's a tough subject because obviously this person has got themselves into the circumstance of being addicted to drugs but i think once you are addicted again you can't really blame that person because there is a a bodily need for it and in, in your mind as well but um uh, i've said this plenty of times throughout the past few weeks but yeah you literally can die if you go without a certain drug that you're addicted to potentially um and yeah you do literally depend on it so you've you've got to sympathize but also again you've got to keep in mind the fact that this person did get themselves in that like situation like um i look back at my past and again i think i got in those situations because one there was really not much else to do in the countryside but two it's like so who i was hang, hanging around with um i had pretty good friends to be honest with you guys um those friends also were quite um fiendish perhaps for like drugs and such and that would also because i was i got into that area i also met people that probably weren't the best kind of people and and were um bad people i guess uh that yeah but even more in that in that sense but i stopped hanging around with those bad people and then i stopped hanging around with my close friends as much um and then i did hang around with them but then i never done the stuff with uh when they were doing it and then uh pretty much um from then on it yeah i didn't see him too much after that which makes sense um yeah you can and i totally blame myself obviously that was all my choices so totally blame myself and that's the thing these people do blame themselves as you as you can see here uh ren is literally saying to this guy yes yeah, my fault you should be blaming me um again it's right but just to a certain extent i think I'm just glad I got all that out. Like this was when I was like thirteen, fourteen, um, to to about nineteen, twenty. Um, yeah, about yeah, about nineteen, twenty, twenty one, I think. So I'm I'm just really glad I got it all out early. To be honest with you, I know it probably impacted my. I know for a fact smoking impacted my growth because <laughs> I didn't grow an inch after I started smoking cigarettes. I was always the same height afterwards. But um, 
in, in terms of like affecting my personality and such i think it kind of affected it in a in a positive way which is really strange in terms of again i'm i think i'm quite an introspective person i i look into myself quite a lot i'm also quite good at um knowing what other people people are thinking about and like telling me and such and, like reading the room and such and i think those are positives of it i've obviously got negatives i'm not as social as other people i'm quite introverted so there's big negatives as well of course but i kind of like how i i turned out to be honest with you because again during my like when i was like 15 16 towards come towards the end of high school and stuff i really didn't care or think about what other people thought at all um and then i had a massive change to think a lot about what other people think and how i treat them and how that affects them and yeah what i'd what i'd do if i was in their shoes and stuff like that so yeah swings and roundabouts Very off topic, <laughs> apologies. But well, not really off topic, topic, but um, yapping a bit there, so apologies. I'm glad it was easy for me to quit as well, because I imagined it would be quite hard, but it wasn't too bad, actually. It was kind of hard at the start when my friends were, like, doing it, and I, I had to, like, I one, one part I had to, like, lock myself in a bathroom just to, like, stop myself from, like, being around it and to, to not do anything. But um, after that, it was, uh, yeah, not too bad. Turn back. No. I don't want to disappoint the people around me more than I already have. Take me back. I don't want to come up with the same answer I did three years ago. But the path I chose then has been irre irrevocably set in motion. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. I wonder what Yuri's going to do with the whole acting stuff. Don't forget your umbrella if you're heading out after this break commercial. Oh, boo. Hmm. Nyathi. <laughs> what? Tell me. What language are you speaking? Yuri? What was that? I was like, that's the face of a kid like asking for a, a parent or something like that. <laughs> but no, it's just the face of a, a woman in love, perhaps. Happy at her current circumstance, potentially. Come here for a sec. What? Me? Good morning. Long, long time no see. When did you get back? Just now. Welcome back. You're not even a hello or anything. <laughs> How was Hong Kong? Did you get me anything? You didn't have to come, Nobu. You don't have to come or you don't want him to come. I dropped by the agency and said hi to the president. Oh? Speaking of the president, I heard Misa is shaking it up with him. You go, girl. Sugimura told me so it's got to be true. Sugimura got you again? You never learn. What? She's not? I heard you renewed your contract. Wait, so was the acting... Oh, wait, are you taking... So was the acting thing just bullshit from that guy? That just lies? Saying that she's going to get into... So, well, well, to be honest, I think that's quite stupid on her part. If he said all that, which, again, was quite believable, I believed it. Oh, not to believe it when it's like written in manga and, and stuff. <laughs> I think it's much easier to discern that stuff in real life, I think. Um Yeah, I think that's I think that's on her to be honest. I mean, obviously you know what you never write for lying, but I I assumed it would be a new contract and a new deal and there was nothing concrete set up just yet. It was just like she, he was talking her into it, so like eventually she might sign a contract with a bit different, like but the thing was that 
he said she would do that, but under the same contract. Oh god. That's the case. This is fucking terrible. I told him to keep it under wraps. What a jerk. People will find out sooner or later. Why'd you make such a big decision without talking to Nobu? I can't believe you. Because I know if I talked to Nobu, he'd totally be opposed to it. Of course. He made such a big deal about wanting to quit. Is it the money that sucked you back in? No. I got an offer to star in this movie, so I accepted. The original story is... I heard about it. But even if it's a bestseller, still just prawn. Yeah. So yeah. Wow, we got play it big time. I mean, everyone says this, but just like, don't sign nothing you haven't read. <laughs> but how sure you are. And like, think about things like this as well. You're, as much as you're like, maybe super excited to get into something like this, like a new job or something. It may, like, a lot of, I found out in my life, if it, it, it's just a natural law. If it's too good to be true, it very usually is. I've been scanned a few times in my life. Uh, nothing major. Just on, like, little things. Um, but that always, like, made me feel horrible. Like, not, not in terms of bad, but it just made me angry that I got scammed. And, um, Yeah. Make make having that feeling just maybe not ever get scammed again, <laughs> which is maybe bad because there might be opportunities you miss that maybe are good and too good to be true but are true. But um, again, ninety nine percent of the time, it's not the case. So I know it's boring, but I, I, I do this. I yeah, I read every like part of every contract or anything I've ever signed. Make sure it's all okay, even if it's just like quickly skimming through or getting someone else to even skim through it as well. It's very much worth doing. Luckily, I've never found anything crazy, but it might be one day where I do. Uh, I do find something big that could have fucked me up. Well, surely there might might be some kind of le legal way she can get out of this contract, right? I mean, he didn't exactly lie to her, but the language he used was confusing. So I, I, I'm not sure that's enough <laughs> to, to revoke a contract, but maybe there is something we can do in that regard. I don't know. No oh, idea. Don't condescend to me. What's so wrong with Pron? I didn't say it was wrong. How can you just call it, how can you call it just Pron? When you've never even read it or seen it. I mean, I don't want to sound rude here, but come on. It, it's made for one purpose. There is no, maybe the, I don't know, maybe there is artistic things, I don't know, or good performances, but at the end of the day, you're just making videos for sweaty middle aged men. Uh, I don't. Do, that's the thing. You can disagree and such with it as much as you like, and not care about it. The the one true thing about it is, oh, the stars make a lot of money, so fair play to them. Again, I, my opinion is, like I said, I I don't really like each to their own. Of course, I I probably wouldn't. I don't, I don't know. That's, I I wouldn't ever do anything like this. I don't think, but. I, I wouldn't rule it out, I don't think, as well. <laughs> I um I definitely wouldn't be showing my face or anything, but um I've I've thought about like, yeah. I wouldn't be majorly opposed but also I wouldn't go out of my way to do stuff like that. But, um yeah, probably probably wouldn't ever do it. But like I said, each to their own. If you wanna do it and you're having fun with it or if you make a lot of money doing it absolutely fair play to you and it's like it's actually especially incredible because that they're these people are actually are like usually the safest people to like have sex with and stuff because they get tested and such all the time so it's like the stigma and such against it is actually not really too much of like stigma and such against it but i think the major thing i think of as the negative is the the family aspect like the person's family is 
I imagine again, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, the family maybe might um, say so maybe might might uh, cast away that person or not care for them or love them as much as as they did. Perhaps they see it in a in a very negative light. I think if I found out like if I had a daughter and I found out she was doing stuff like this, I wouldn't be happy. Really, wouldn't be happy. I think it's not my place to say what she could or couldn't do but I wouldn't like it it's like and there's a big chance of it happening nowadays with the kind of popularity of certain apps and things it's like are you still a virgin if that stays like that Yasu's gonna go elsewhere is she I think she probably is, <laughs> judging by this reaction. No. You guys really haven't done it yet? No way. He sleeps in your room all the time. I don't believe it. You're 27 and you're still a virgin? Thought you were in the biz against your will. So I was just worried about you. I play you. Nice of her, isn't it? Again, it might seem I, I can understand how I'm. Sometimes I can understand why I might seem like a bit pretentious and such, and and maybe um. I would I wouldn't say I butt into other people's business because I really don't. I like keep it to myself, but I think that that might make me seem quite pretentious because I don't really talk as much and, and such to people, and I feel like uh, a lot of extrovert people see that as as kind of negative behaviour. So um, yeah, I I, t I totally understand how people feel about me in that regard so i feel like it's slightly similar with Mew here like again she's just buttoning and looking into it and saying this stuff as much as it might sound slightly rude um she's just looking out for her best intentions so absolutely fair play to her like i said i feel like i can relate to that quite a little bit If you like your work, be honest and tell Nobu that. If you just talk to Nobu, he'll understand. But what if he doesn't? And I'll just hate my job too. But you already signed a contract. They told me I had to jump on it before they gave the role to someone else. That's just how they keep you hooked when you have no time to think. Sugimura knows that if you talk to Nobu, you might end up saying no. That's what I meant. How Sugimura got you again. I was well played by him, to be fair, little rat. Got me as well. You guys, I was hyped. <laughs> I was hyped to see that she was actually going to get in the acting industry. Like that proper acting industry. So uh, yeah, got me too. Don't worry, me. Uh, don't worry, Yuri. But Sugimura really recognizes my potential. Look at those eyes. <laughs> those eyes give you the answer right there, don't they? He takes me seriously on set. He tells me this was good, or I should have done it that way. More than the directors tell me. Nobu says, work hard. But he won't even ask me about work. But I'd be bummed if he didn't care that I'm in prawn. As, as, the, as the thing is that you want, to, you want to talk about it to him. You, like, it sounds like she's almost in love with this Sugimura guy. She respects his opinion so, so much. Cares so much about what he says. She wants something similar from from Nobu, but also she wants Nobu to not like the fact that she's sleeping with other men. So it's like, what the fuck? As a guy, what the fuck are you meant to do there? I mean, again, fair fucking play to Nobu for even dating Yuri, considering her line of work. 
I've mentioned this multiple times, 99% of men wouldn't, <laughs> depending on how attractive the woman is, to be fair. I think um, that is definitely a major factor in, in that regard. But, um, yeah, for me, again, I, I probably wouldn't. Especially, I, I think for me, it's almost like the bigger they are, the more likely I wouldn't. And depending on what section they're in as well, uh, I mentioned this earlier about like certain apps, if they're like solo only, and they're only like by themselves and so not sleep with other men, um, I probably would be kind of all right with it. I still wouldn't like it. I still wouldn't like the fact that, again, middle-aged sweaty men are there looking at my naked girlfriend. Um, yeah, wouldn't like that whatsoever. Um, I like that a bit more. I also probably would mind, wouldn't mind lesbians. Like if she if she had a lesbian relationship. I wouldn't mind that as much as if it was a guy either. I don't know, it's just something a little bit different about another guy, isn't it? For for a man anyway, I don't know. I guess it's not really something I've thought about too often. <laughs> too honest with you. Um, like I was just saying, this is like what are you meant to do here? I feel I kind of feel bad for her because what's she meant to be thinking here as well? If she's got like these two different differentiated thoughts, like how is she meant to feel about people? thinking like this it's really a uh, strange position isn't it I know you think I'm a hypocrite because you're always so damn logical you wouldn't understand again I'm I'm a big hypocrite I'm a big I'm, yeah so I've got no right to talk about stuff like that uh, I've mentioned this a few times as well isn't everyone a hypocrite until they learn something better like are you, are you not a hypocrite for changing your opinion now you've got a better opinion of something? Oh dear. And here is Yasu. Well, we skipped over some songs there. Welcome back. I just heard from Nobu. You read? I also do think you probably got to be a very strong woman to be in the prawn industry, haven't you? Uh, maybe not as much nowadays, um, but... I imagine, yeah, like the early, like the 90s, 80s, all that, 2000s, I imagine it was quite a rough place to be for a woman. Are you guys fighting? Damn. We were talking about something important. Why couldn't you wait for me downstairs? But yeah, Yassi's, Yassi's telepathic and he knows you're talking about something important, so he'll wait downstairs. Come on now. Story. <laughs> I don't think there's any problem being a virgin at 27. I think it's probably more common in like Japan and Asia and, and like America and Britain. I'm not sure what the average age people lose their virginity is in Britain. I'm going to guess 18. This is a weird thing to be Google, isn't it? That's interesting. Maybe it's because I'm in the UK, but the first result is the UK and not like I expect it to be a bigger country. 17. Okay, I was, I was a year off. Uh, and then let's guess. I'm going to guess for Japan, it's like 21. 20.4. 20, 20. Well, I'm good at this. I'm quite good at this. <laughs> let's guess for America. Uh, I'm guessing 16 in America. Oh, 16.8. And slash 17.2. Why am I so good at this? <laughs> I'm thinking wrong. There's a, there's a small fluctuation. Uh, I'm going to have a very weird uh, search history after this, aren't I? Um, should, should we do one more? Which one should we do as the last one? Sex offenders. No. <laughs> um, hmm. Canada, Australia, or Germany? 
We've already done. I'm pretty sure we already saw the the Asian one a minute ago. We'll go. Uh, I mean, Germany is quite quite close to UK and Europe, so I imagine it's quite similar. Uh, we'll go Australia, and you know what? I'm I'm gonna say sixteen again for Australia. Oh, why am I so good? Fifteen. Holy crap. Yo, I think I was about that age when I first saw anything like that. Anything prom. I was about that age. But um holy crap. Fifteen point three. It says sixteen here, so I did get it right, but uh the AI says I'm wrong. So <laughs> AI is shit. I've been uh yeah, I've been trying to use AI a little bit just asking a few questions and the information is always so outdated and terrible it's but i i don't understand how people are getting their essays written by ai and in universities and such like how can you trust something so shit i literally asked this morning i literally asked what's the drama going on with mbappe <laughs> who's a football player you guys might, be, might not be too interested in this but there's like a load of drama going on around him right now and i don't have it i still don't have any idea what it's about um so yeah, i just asked that and it came out with quotes from a fucking year ago about him joining a, a another team that he's already joined so yeah it's so shit uh anyway <laughs> Quite good. At, I'm quite good at. Um, to be honest with you guys, I've always been really good at estimating things. Um, I remember. I think I've probably said this before, but I remember in primary school we once got asked exactly how many balls are in this jar. It was like a jar like this big, and I think I was like maybe two or three balls off, and it was like seven hundred or something, seven hundred like sixty something, and I was like two or three off, and everyone, yeah, everyone kind of looked at me a little bit like. Slightly impressed, but also a bit weirded out. <laughs> but um, I was impressed with myself doing that. Yeah, I've always been quite good at like guesstimates and stuff like that. So it's, it's just because I've got a math brain. I've, I mentioned this before. Math was always my favourite subject. I've always, um, I, I've always been quite good at calculating things, especially like, like quite quickly. I've always been quite fast, like the times tables and stuff. And I think what I did there was just like estimate how many balls were like in the circle at the bottom, and then just go through like twenty times, like twenty times that, some stuff like that. I don't know. Oh. I got some jasmine tea. Want some? Uh, shouldn't you go after her? No. She has to cry in front of Nobu. Not me. Shion, that's the girl's name. Hello? Oh, alright. I'll come over now. Ah. See, I know how she feels there, but it's not like that. Is it? It, I would I would feel the same way though, even knowing that it's not like that. Sorry, something's going on. I gotta go. Jesus Christ, look at the the reaction. Yep. Stomp, 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 stomp. Creak. I'm sorry. I forgot something. What? In my room? You fucking... You, yeah, yes, you... You... Uh, what a Riz master. <laughs> oh my god. What a legend. See, I don't think I've ever done anything nearly like as cool as this. <laughs> Never. I've tried to, and I've, I've always just felt quite awkward, and it's never gone too well. <laughs> Maybe not like this, but yeah. Similarly cool. Um, yeah, this is just, uh, wow. That's how, you, that's how you impress a woman right here. That's the thing, I think I've watched and like read too much stuff about like stuff like that. It, 
it's too I yeah. Maybe if I never watched any like romance or anything I would uh I'd be a bit cooler about this kind of stuff. Why is this song so fucking low volume? Jeez. Damn. Take my glasses off. Fogging them up. <laughs> well, I've had that before, to be fair. I don't really usually wear glasses, but when I have kissed a girl with my glasses on, uh, yeah. Take them off yourself. My hands are full. <laughs> For you? So she's like putting his putting his hands around. <clears throat> if it stays like that, Yasu's gonna go elsewhere. Don't listen to her. Take your own time, you. It's ob obviously it's so understandable where those differences in opinions comes from, isn't it? One being a bloody prawn star, <laughs> and me being a virgin. Take your time. Oh. Sammy? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Does Mew mean to you? <laughs> if you just talk to Nobu, he'll understand. Nobu? Yes? Thank you so much for everything. What the hell? There are tons of girls out there who are better for you. Stop it. Are you acting? In a movie. I got scouted to star in one. What? What movie? What? They're turning the married woman next door into a movie? That reminds me of uh, the movie The Girl Next Door. I used to love this movie. It's about porn, porn stars. I used to lo fucking love this movie. Um, again, I had a, a sister that used to, like, I used to have to kind of watch a few, like, girly films and romance films. This wasn't one of those. This was a movie I decided to watch. I think it was on, like, late one night, and then I bought the DVD for. Um, so this was a kind of girly movie that I actually chose to watch. I, again, I watched a few Against My Will and such, and I never really enjoyed many of them. I think there was one. Um, I can't remember what it's called, though. But yeah, this is one I decided to watch on my own, and I wouldn't say it's a girly movie, but um, yeah, it's about prom stars, and I, I used I used to love this movie. I watched this like movie like ten or twenty times. <laughs> I thought it was awesome, and mostly because of how attractive the the main girl is. She was yeah, she was the the girl of my dreams as a kid. <laughs> but it's quite funny because uh, the guy actor in this, Emil Hirsch, I never I never watched another I never watched any movie from him apart from that one. And then years, years later, he came out with this, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, which is a fucking super underrated horror movie. If you guys like horror movies and haven't seen this, definitely check this out. I love the atmosphere and tone of this a lot. Um, yeah, really awesome. I haven't watched it in years, though, so I might need to watch that again soon. But this, uh, yeah, this movie is cool as hell. I can't really tell you much about it. But, um... I remember really enjoying that, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's that guy from my one of my favorite childhood films." Married woman next door returns. Returns. Oh look who it is by. <laughs> By the um, 
This advert is so weak. A sexual mustard advert. I swear like everything on the topic of prawn and that. Everything seems to get sexualized a hell of a lot nowadays. Music music artists and such, especially women, were always sexualized, don't get me wrong. There's always been that aspect of luring an audience in that way. But even more so nowadays, it's crazy what they're doing and what they're showing. And yeah, I think you see that a lot in what women wear nowadays as well. During my high school years, um, man, I you would have absolutely loved to be seeing a woman in just like t-shirts with no bras or anything like there was never anything like that when i was uh, when i was in high school or or anything um just like what i'd consider like normal clothes but nowadays women again you, they're almost going out pretty much naked uh probably sound like an old man saying that but <laughs> it's, it's genuinely true like i said i would have absolutely loved uh um, to be fair, there was, there was my one teacher I had in school who was really hot, and she used to. I'm not sure if she didn't used to wear a bra or not, but maybe her nipples were just so big that they kind of came out of her suit thing that she wore. But um, yeah, she had some massive boobs, and but, yeah, <laughs> she was like the closest thing to that. She was like 50. She was a good looking 50 year old, though. But um, yeah. Again, high school boys have a field day with that kind of stuff nowadays, I imagine. Don't do it. My image of the story will be destroyed. For me, Katone is. Even if it's starring Yuri Kosaka. <laughs> look at that shy little look. She's perfect. Right? Both the director and Ayazawa said they couldn't think of anyone but a Sammy to play Katone. Did you know Ayazawa a Ayazawa's actually a guy? Is she? Okay. Um to be honest, I I've got like you see in like even with normal acting works and of course now the fucking <laughs> I'm not sure why that song is so low. Um yeah. In normal acting works, there's nude scenes and such, and uh, you see especially a lot of women. Um, you see men as well go like I think men wear like prosthetics sometimes though on their down below regions, uh, whereas women um, plenty of times are just like just do naked work and it's fine. It's not. I think my the one that comes into mind is uh, I forget her name, but um, I'm not sure if I want to Google this because I don't. I'm not sure if this video will do too well if I do, but. Uh, Oh, what's it called again? It's so, so weird, I remember the sequel name. But not the um not the original's name. And it's none of these. You know, it's like a black and white comic book Sin City. Uh what is her name? There's a lot of big stars in this movie, as you can see right here. Uh, what was her name? It's none of these. I, I really like Rosario Dawson. I think she's an absolutely fantastic actor. It's not her, though. Um, who was I looking for here? She's still not coming up here. Crazy. Sorry about this, guys. Am I going crazy? Is it in the seat call? I got the sequel title wrong anyway. I said Dame to Kill, I think. Is it in the sequel one? Yeah, I guess it is in the sequel. Okay, this woman here, Ava Green. She's probably got one of my, again, probably sexiest naked kind of uh, performances. I think she in this movie looks 
absolutely wonderful. But, um, yeah, you find a lot of actors are okay with that kind of stuff, funny, don't you? Maybe it's like that. Maybe it's not actually a fully prawn, but maybe it's just like a normal movie, but with a bit of nudity in there, perhaps. What are you bragging about? I'm the one who said Katone is just like Yuri. You didn't say anything. In, fu in fu Fukuoka? Fu Fukuoka, yeah. But I love Katone more than anyone. You were always saying it was a boring book. Hey, what are you guys fighting about? I like Jun Ichiro more than the two main characters. He's the hottest. They should let me play him. I'd be perfect. No way. Junichiro's 24 and at least 5 foot 11. Get a grip. And you're on probation. I gotta go tell Yasu. He'll be psyched. Yeah, I gotta email Nana. Or should I call her? Nobu. Yeah? You don't mind me doing sex scenes? All naked on the big screen? Oh, so I guess it is again just a movie with a sex scene in. Again, plenty of big actors and popular actors and such have done stuff like that. That's also quite interesting because as opposed to the prawn industry, you don't hear too many actors, families, two against them after they've done a scene like that although I, it's not something i've majorly looked into i uh i just feel like there there would be a different look at that when it's almost essentially the same thing isn't it quite interesting isn't it, it is pretty much the exact same thing huh. interesting to think about isn't it why is that do you reckon especially when an actual movie probably goes out to many more people is it because the main intention is not to yeah I don't know but you're playing Katone you like Katone more than me like, yeah, they are kind of like just talking like she's not even there oh I, I love this girl in this book she's my perfect girl no that's not what I mean I well you are just like her even the way you're acting now. I renewed my contract. I have to keep doing pronos too. You don't mind? Well, I'm used to it now. Don't cry. Just do your best. If the movie does well, you'll get tons of better work. It's a great opportunity. He's on the spot right now, bless him, isn't he, Nobu? I mean, this is definitely the best thing to say to make her feel okay, but if he actually feels this way, again, respect to him. But, um, he's on, like I said, he's on the spot right now, so. And I'll work hard. Well, that's the thing. Wouldn't you want your girlfriend not to work hard? <laughs> I think it wrong, you want her to make a good movie, but for the pronos, wouldn't you wouldn't you like her not to do well? <laughs> so I'll be thinking, so like, why do you want me to do well? Why do you want me to have good sex? <laughs> Surely you want me to have bad sex. And I'll work hard. So will you watch the movie? It's like, yeah, you're asking him to watch you. Oh, it's just so, it's just so interesting, isn't it? Because you never get this. You never have this type of stuff if there wasn't a prono industry. And it's like, it's so hard to discuss because, again, I know I'll probably never be in a situation like this. Of course. If you don't mind, I'll watch your pronos too. <laughs> I've always been a Yuri Kosaka fan anyway. I feel like the way he's looking, he doesn't even believe that, does he?
And fair, I mean, again, it's normal to not. Again, as a guy, I mean, again, I would never have probably a relationship with a prawn star, but certainly, if I did, I certainly wouldn't be watching them do it. Certainly not. I'd, in fact, I'd try everything in my mind. I wiped that out of my mind, and I don't think I'd be able to. Ah, oh, God. <clears throat> Just don't keep me in the dark about things. Otherwise, why am I with you? I'm sorry. Hey, I can't find Yasu. He's in Mew's room. What? Mew's back? Wait, Shin. Don't go busting on them. Yeah, probably a good idea. What else has he got to do? Fucking Nobu and Yuri here. Fucking Yasu, Mew there. Where's it? it fucking must feel quite empty for him right now, must not it? <laughs> Poor old Shin's got nothing to do. Little poo snake on his head. Why am I alone with two older ladies around? I'm the cute one. And it's my room. Stop growing. Or you won't be cute anymore. That's just disgusting. <laughs> Stop growing up. Ugh. Man, I hope that woman has looked up for a long time. I mean, I know she's a fictional character, but in the world of Ayazawa, I hope that woman has looked up for a long time. Don't they say milk helps your bones grow? If you grow up big and strong, dear Ryoka, goodbye. Try to be like Junichiro. It's amazing because she, she probably has no idea just how much she's affected Shin's life. So I, I, I spoke about drug dealers a while ago. They're, they're in a similar boat in, in a sense. Like they've got, they sell, like again, I, I picked up drugs when I was like 13 odd and obviously had no qualms selling to me. It's like, oh, that, that person probably had no idea of how my life would turn out after that and how they might ruin someone's life if, they're so, if they were to sell like harder drugs at such a young age. I don't care. To them, it's just a, a bit of money right there, right then, isn't it? It's just like, yes, yeah, really disgusting behavior. You've got to really not care about people if you're in that kind of line of business and such, haven't you? They probably don't let her get email. Dear Rayra. I'm so sorry. Rayra called me early this morning to talk, but I told her she should just do what Takumi says. I didn't know what else to say. Uh, that was probably <laughs> one of the worst things you could have said, but she had no idea, so. Dear Mari, I'm really sorry for always putting you out, but my only weapon is my voice. And ironically, I realised that the only way to fight back is to not sing. 
The media will hype it up and say I'm just a selfish little princess acting out, being impulsive. So let this be a time for Ren to take a much needed break. And if he wants, take him to rehab. I could use a break for a while too, to try and think about why I'm singing in this band. Rayra. Well, fair play, Rayra. I think that's a good. It's good for Ren, and I think that's really good for her as well, actually, isn't it? Fair play. For God, I do think of like musicians' lives. Everyone thinks like, yeah, you're rich, you're famous, blah blah blah. But I think this this Nana gives us a great look at how not just Nana, but other like things I've seen as well of like actual document documentaries of like bands touring and such. It it, it feels like a bit of pain in the fucking ass having to drive around like the country every day and you live on a mini but you live on a bus a mini bus or a big bus depend i don't know it depends how popular wherever you are either way you're living on the road for however fucking long taking shits in a stinky ass small toilet that maybe 20 other people are as well and yeah it just it doesn't feel like the life <laughs> to be honest like yeah you're rich and famous but you're also living on the on the road essentially it's so, like yeah there's plenty of negatives to being rich, famous, even even inheriting like a, even being inheriting like millions from your parents or something. There's even major psychological negatives to that. So, so yeah. some of, I I I equate that one to something. I don't know about dogs, like dogs want to work for their food. Dogs want to like have a little challenge and like they they they'll obviously eat food if you just give it to them. But the nature of dogs is to hunt their food and and like yeah to work for their food and if they're just, if it's just given to them they're they're different than other dogs they're different from like wild dogs i see that with like rich uh people that have inherited millions of pounds like we're we're like the the wild dogs and they're like dogs that have been psychologically changed because everything's been handed to them very weird analogy i know but <laughs> i was thinking about that uh the wild dog. As we make a nice cake. Takumi? What's going on? Didn't you have work? I've been fine. Sorry, guys. So just walking straight past her to bed. Akumi? Man. The man is so much of a mum <laughs> in this shot, especially right here. Doesn't she? Jesus. Amazing. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? Sorry, guys. Again, this hat is like, it's so annoyingly just slightly longer than I want it to be, and it like digs into my ears a little bit. Slightly longer than I want it to be. Hello? Hachi? There's nothing from back in here. He really fucked up. Again, he, 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 he just went along with things, but even so, he really fucked up. So now I've got another interview to do after the radio thingy. 
So it looks like I won't be done till a, a little later than I thought. But I'll go back to the hotel as soon as possible. So shoot me an email when you know your room number. Maybe if I like tuck my ears in. That probably looks pretty stupid, but it feels better. <laughs> Sorry, Nana. I might not be able to make it. What? Uh, Takami seems to be sick and I'm worried. I'm sorry. I was the one who planned this. No, it's all right. It's not your fault. But Nana, tomorrow is your birthday and our anniversary. If it looks like I can go, I'll cruise right over there. So email me your room number. Don't worry about it. This always happens. She always chooses Akami over me. I was just about to say, like, it's she's very much choosing Kamatsu over Ren for a long while now. Nana, hasn't she? And I know it sounds bad and maybe harsh, or maybe you might disagree with this, but she kind of needs to move on a little bit. I mean, yes, she can still be friends with Nana. But, yeah, she's kind of stagnated, gone backwards a couple of steps a little bit, hasn't she? When you look how far, I mean, she, when you look at it from, from just a surface perspective, like, Osaki might have come the furthest in terms of, like, career and, and so on and money and, and so on. But in terms of, like, personal growth and such, obviously Komatsu's been through quite a bit and progressed a lot more in my eyes anyway and like I said I feel like Nana's actually gone maybe a few steps back in that sense Nana Osaki everyone's got something that's more important than me I feel, I feel, yeah, Osaki. That must suck. That's the thing, it's really unfortunate because whenever I do feel like this, I always feel like, oh, I've got my parents. My parents are always there for me. They, uh, I'm really important to my parents and such, but it's like if I didn't, obviously, it's like it doesn't, yeah. If I was in her shoes, it, it, I really would be like at an ab absolute loss. I'd be like, well, no one, yeah, no one actually has me as their number one or cares about me enough to do this or that. So yeah, I totally, uh, totally empathize with how she's feeling right now, especially like uh, okay, as a guy we don't we don't really care too much about our birthdays <laughs> uh, i think women care quite a bit more about like, their, their birthday plans and such but on the day you were like born the day you came to this earth i think that just hits it even like a little bit harder doesn't it for anyone if you're a guy or a girl it's like on well, the day i i became alive still no one has me as something majorly important to them i don't know maybe i'm wearing that poorly but again with the interesting keyholes like, what? <laughs> it's just a circle. Oink. Is that a gift for Osaki? Oh, 
Why does this keep happening? I'm just glad it's not been anything crazy. You get the craziest adverts on these anime sites and manga sites. When today is over, I'll be 21. Wow, fucking hell. Still young as hell, isn't she? Jesus. When today is over, I'll be 21. I think, again, as a, maybe like as a, oh, like late teens, maybe early 20s, you, you kind of do think. Like your world is over from like stuff like this as well, don't you? <laughs> it feels like this stuff hits you a lot harder than uh, than when you get a little bit later in life. You make a bigger deal out of it, perhaps. I don't want to get old and not be able to change anything. Text from Shin. I'll come get you when I turn into Janichi though. Oh shit. What did he what was he gonna send to um I try to be like Janichi? I'll come get you when I turn into Janichi. Junichi though. I'll come get you. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you reckon she knows who that is. <laughs> it's a very likelihood. Is it? Yeah, it's all likelihood she doesn't. Junichiro. Hey, Hachi. I don't want to keep getting older and not have you in my life. Yeah, I think that's a very good. It kind of looks like Ren. Is that, is that Nana or Ren? I don't know. You know what, sometimes it's quite hard to tell the characters apart that have a similar dress sense. I was going to say that that's a pretty good shot, honestly. Of uh, if that is Osaki, that's a pretty good shot to pick what I was talking about earlier. But that could be Ren. I don't know. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, that is part of the next one. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry, I was yapping quite a bit <laughs> in today's chapter, but uh, some interesting stuff covered here. Of course, Yuri getting scammed, which is awful. Um, again, maybe I, I, I didn't even think she was getting scammed, so very unfortunate for her. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing especially more of this Takumi Komatsu situation now that Takumi is not working like that's his whole kind of that whole like massive part of his persona and personality gone for a while if you know what I'm saying like what would he be like now how would this change him do you reckon obviously affecting him quite a bit as we saw him uh, you know just go to bed just say nothing uh, interesting scenes here with Yuri and Mew as well weren't they but yeah uh, again thank you what for uh, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this chapter down in the comment section. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys would like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. Uh, next chapter is 77. So hopefully I'll see you guys then. And enjoy the rest of your day.